Hey, what's up? I'm Austin Griffith, and we just put out the burner wallet, and I'm getting lots of questions about how to move basically in and out of XDAI. And I just wanted to run through that here, just as a, just to show it how it how it goes through. So first of all, you're going to need to get ETH somehow or Dai. Obviously, this is like a big barrier to entry for crypto right now. Um, but they're KYC laws. Like, there's nothing we can do in terms of it's the law right now. We can we can do lots of little tricks to make UX and UI better, but when you're going up against a federal law, that's a different story altogether. So there are different places to get your um, your crypto, Coinbase, Wire, local Ethereum. Uh, I've been using Wire a lot because it was about 24 hours total for the process to move from my bank account to get ETH or DAI, and I think you can get DAI directly from them. But uh, let's assume that you have some ETH. So let's see, in my MetaMask here, I've got 3.3 ETH. I've also got 50 DAI, but let me show you how to use Uniswap to swap to DAI. So normally you would just select ETH, um, select that you want to go to DAI, and let's just put like 0 0.5 ETH in there. That's gonna give me 100 DAI. Let's just do 2.5 another 50 die and you hit swap and you hit yes and you're good pretty soon you're gonna have some die okay so now once you have die how do you bridge it to x die that's that's kind of what this is about and so there's a button on the burner wallet down here called x die bridge and it will take you to this die bridge uh, put together by the POA network now what's important here is when you're going one direction or the other or back is to have your MetaMask on the different account. So if you want to go from mainnet to DAI, you would be on the main network. And that's how you would see, now it's got mainnet over here, it's got DAI over here. I've got 101 DAI, so that, that DAI already moved in. And I want to, let's say, put um, 50 of those DAI into XDAI. You hit transfer. It takes a while, let's just like, jack up the gas prices if there's any way we can speed this up it's worth it because we're doing a video right now keep going keep going that was way too much oh 13 cents oh i don't know if i can swing it okay so that's going to take a while it's it's got to do like eight block confirmation uh on the poa side i think so the transfer is quick but then at, it takes a while but basically what that is going to do is move you into XDAI. So then uh, eventually when that finishes, um, we will have DAI over here, but it's complaining that it needs to be on DAI POA. So we need to put MetaMask on the DAI POA. And that also switches this around, right? So if you're at the bridge and let's, let's just look at the bridge again. So if we're on main network, the bridge will reload and it'll be going from mainnet to xdai, right? But if you switch your MetaMask to, and you'll have to do a custom RPC and type in dai.poa.network. But when you do that, now you're on the POA network, you'll see that the xdai is over here and the mainnet is over here. That's how you do your bridging. Basically, you can go back and forth as you need. It just takes a little bit of time because they have to confirm that everything's good and there's not like, you know, an attack on the network. They need a few blocks to do that confirmation. So here pretty soon we will have 50 uh, XDAI in our account and we'll be able to move it around, but it will take a little bit. And then um, once we have that uh, XDAI, I want to go back to the bridge. Oh, it's already there. Still waiting on that confirmation. But once we have that, you can go back, right? So once once you so so to go from XDI to the main net, you just put your MetaMask on uh, the POA, the die.poa network, and then move the 50. There, the 50 is there, it's there, we're here. So we should have fifty dollars here. Come on now. Uh, maybe I'm not oh there it is. It just took it some time. Okay, cool. So then uh, like I could just hit send to scan. Let's I could send it to my phone, right? But let's just go ahead and send it over to this guy. So I copied that address and then I'll do send to address and put in this guy and this matches this. And let's send that dude $5 and confirm. So there we go. So then I just sent $5 to my phone. I can go out on the go out on the town, do whatever I want, send money. 
And then once, once I'm done with that and I come back home and I'm ready to sweep it, then I will put in this guy's address into my phone or I'll just shoot it. I mean, technically I'll just say, okay, shoot and then shoot this guy. And that will uh, move the money back. But let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna send this guy, what, $4.99? Remember, we're paying gas and die here. Pretty cool stuff. And then, so it's the end of the night. I've had a few beers. I just got home. I split the pizza. I wanna get rid of that wallet. Okay, so I've moved that penny and then I'm just gonna go ahead and burn that private key and it's gone and it's done. That money will move back over here. Boy, I hope so. I did that pretty quick. Pretty soon this guy will have the $50 back, I hope. There we go. Okay, so then from there, I go back to the die chain. I make sure that I'm on the die.poa network. And let's just say I want to move that five bucks back. I hit transfer and I hit go. And that's going to be onto the Ethereum mainnet. And then if I wanted to go all the way to fiat, I would move that back using wire or uh, something like that. Cool. Uh, thanks a lot. That's kind of that's the long and short of on and off ramps. Um, good luck. Use that burner wallet. Let's let's go to dinner and split it. See ya.